Hello farmers, my name's Alison and welcome to our tutorial for farm setup in field margin. So this tutorial is going to include importing field boundaries from the Rural Payment Agency, drawing a field, adding field uses and marking out features. For this tutorial we're going to be using the web platform. You can log in at www.fieldmargin.com. Here you can sign up with your account details or set up a new account. The first step to getting set up with Field Margin is creating a farm. This is where all your notes, fields and features will go. So in the top box enter the name of your farm. Now choose your farm location by either typing your farm's address in the box or pressing the use my location button. So you can move the map by clicking and dragging the area. Mark the centre of your farm by clicking its location and once you're happy, click Create Farm. If you're in England, you can get set up in a couple of minutes by importing maps from the Rural Payment Agency records. To do this, go to the Field tab and click on Import Map. Here you'll be shown a list of ways you can import fields. So select RPA. So now you'll need to enter your single business identifier access your data. You can find your SBI number by logging into your account on the RPO portal or in any correspondence that you've had with them. So agree to the terms and conditions for the ordinance survey and click on import RPA data. So now scroll down and you'll be able to see the fields that will be added to your farm. So click create fields and there you go. Your RPA boundaries will be set up on your map. If you do not have any field boundaries to import, you can draw them out yourself. To do this, go to the Fields tab on the left hand side of the screen, click New and give your field a name. So you can draw your field by adding points for the outline by clicking on the map. Take it as so. So to finish your shape, double click or click on your starting point. If you make a mistake, you can edit your shape by dragging the outline once completed. So now I have my field boundary set up, the next step is to allocate field uses. This can be done in just a few clicks. To add a field use, go to the field tab on the sidebar, select the white button, set usage and choose create new usage. So add the name of what you have in your field and give it a colour, tap save. So next select the fields that have this use by clicking them on the map or selecting the fields on the side list. The total area of the field selected is shown on the top of the sidebar. So save the map when you've finished and repeat the process to fill in your whole farm. The colours display on the map so you can see what's going on at a glance. You have 22 colours for field uses to select from. For permanent things on your farm, you can use features to give your digital map detail. Features can be drawn as points, lines or areas. You can set these up in a very similar way to how you would make fields. If you draw a line then you can see the length of this line on the sidebar. Some of the things you might like to add include paths, drains, buildings, gates and safety hazards. But you can use these however you wish. So there you have it a visual living record of your farm. Any features or fields you set up are saved to the cloud and will sync to your mobile field margin app. The next step is to invite your team and then you're ready to start planning and tracking work. Thank you very much for listening. Check out some of our other tutorials and webinars on site today. Sign up during serials and get four months half price.